Hi everyone, Letty here. I'm going to share with you the Not Too Shabby Shop Stampin' Dice Set of the Month for this month called Grow Happy Thoughts. We're going to make an A2 size card using a card sketch. So welcome back everyone. I am on the design team for the Not Too Shabby Shop for this term. Here's their logo. I'll list their website link and a discount code down in the description box below. Here's a little bit more of their information. So today I'm featuring the April 2023 Stampin' Dice Set of the Month. It's called Grow Happy Thoughts. You can see it here it comes with these super cute three clusters of flowers and they're like wildflowers you also get some fun sentiments and then you've got a little like a buzz thing with a bee and two butterflies so super cute you've got the coordinating dies which do die cut out the words and all the little intricate pieces of those three floral pieces let me show you what those look like so here's some sunflowers and then you've got some wildflowers and then you've got a mix of sunflowers with wildflowers so super super pretty and then you've got two butterflies one that has open wings and one that's on its side so super super fun and again you have the little buzz and the bee again this is the april 2023 step and dice set of the month called grow happy thoughts and again i've got a website link and a discount code down below in case you want to use it before we dive into today's project, here is what I made for my very first project using the Stampin' Die Set using the April 2023 sheet load of cards. I did three cards. These are A1 in size using one sheet of six by six paper. I used all three of the floral images from the stamp set. I did use the Sunflower Bee six by six paper pad from also from Not Too Shabby Shop. Today's project is also gonna feature that same paper pad. I'm gonna make an A2 size card using a card sketch. I've got two sheets of double-sided six by six paper from that Sunflower Bee's paper pad there it is right there this is what it looks like I have one a2 size card base and then I have one of the stamped images I've already colored and I cut it out at a little glossy accents I also have a stamp sentiment and also die cut it out that and the sketch I'm using is paper play sketches number 24 so I have my supplies okay so I do have the two sheets of six by six paper now on the sketch it comes with a large mat it has a little square sort of a side rectangle and then a rectangle down uh, the middle sort of like a vertical and a horizontal rectangle. I'm going to cut everything down with these six by six sheets of paper. One sheet I'm going to cut down into three by three squares. So I'm going to cut it at three inches and then cut again at three inches. So we've got three by three here. You can technically make four of those. Then on that second sheet, I'm going to start by making a large A2 size mat. So I'm going to put it kind of up and down or upright. I'm going to cut it at four inches just like this. And I'm going to save that, that little strip on the side. With the large piece of paper, we're gonna rotate it once and then cut it at five and a quarter on the six inch side. We'll save that little strip. So here is our A2 size mat. Now with that last little strip that's two inches, I'm gonna cut it at four and a half on the six inch side. So that'll give me a two by four and a half strip and that will be one of the large rectangles then i have this one little scrap i'm going to cut it in half and you can go either way but i'm going to cut it on the one and a half inch side at 0.75 or three quarters of an inch now that we've cut our paper let's assemble this card so i'm going to start by gluing down the large a2 size mat onto my card base and the beauty of this card design is that there were no scraps when we finished this so this is what it looks like with the card mat on the card base now i have my large rectangle that was five and a half by two then i have my three by three square and to finish off the design i have those two little strips that i'm going to use as my horizontal rectangle so because i didn't want to cut into another piece of paper i'm just going to add these two little rectangles and anchor them behind the other two pieces just like this make sure that you lay them down even this gives the illusion that it runs the entire width of the card when actually it doesn't because then i will lay that four and a half inch by two inch rectangle right on top you see that you're you're basically hiding the gap that's in between then i will finish it off with that three by three square right on top so here is what the basic design looks like to match with the sketch um, and then the last little strip, I'm just gonna glue and add it to the inside of the card. So we basically made one card with one sheet of paper, of six by six paper, plus the additional three by three square. I'm gonna finish off my card with some, the die cut images, both the sentiment and the uh, die cut floral piece that I've colored and die cut out. I'm gonna add that just to finish off my card. Now, one thing that I did after the, doing this video was I did add some doodle lines to that. So if you want to jazz it up, you can add doodle lines, you can add some embellishments, some enamel dots, anything you want. Here is a comparison to the sketch. What I really like about this sketch is that you can get four cards from five sheets of paper because you'll cut down one of them into four squares that are three by three. And then you'll basically cut down your mats the same way that I did for this one with the remaining four sheets. So 
again, that was the April 2023 stamp and die set of the month called Grow Happy Thoughts. This is available in the Not Too Shabby Shop. I'll list the link down below for you. This is the stamp and die set of the month. It is an exclusive at the Not Too Shabby Shop. They also have the Sunflower Bees. It is on back order though, but you can get on the wait list. So today's project was an A2 size card using a card sketch. And again, you can make four cards from five sheets of paper. I'll list that website link and a discount code down below for you for easy access. And make sure you check out that hashtag N2S Happy Thoughts for more inspiration using this stamp and die set of the month for this month from Not Too Shabby. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you subscribe, like this video, follow us on Instagram, here are a couple videos I think you might enjoy. And as always, happy crafting.